I will give you a clinical case scenario and we can discuss the nerve injury associated with this case. So in this case, a patient presents to your office with difficulty walking while observing his gait. You see that he leans towards the left side while he walks. When the patient lifts his left foot off the ground, the left hip dips downward. So which muscles and nerve are affected? <coughs> so the patient, uh, so when the patient uh, lifts his uh, left foot off the ground, the left hip dips downward. So in normal uh, situations, when a person lifts the uh, left uh, lift the opposite foot off the ground, the muscles of the hip on the opposite side right here will contract, and it will pull the hip downward on the same side and upward on the opposite side to maintain a normal gait. Uh, in this patient, however, there is a weakness in the muscles right here on the opposite side. Uh, that's why when uh, the patient lifts the opposite foot off the ground, this muscle is unable to contract. Therefore, the hip dips downward. Instead of this muscle pull it up, it dips downward because there's weakness in this muscle. And the muscles here, there are two muscles. They are called the gluteus medius and gluteus minimus. And gluteus uh, mini medius and gluteus minimus are innervated by the uh, superior gluteal nerve. So if there's injury to the superior gluteal nerve, it uh, also uh, gives the same presentation, clinical presentations, as if there was injur injury to the gluteus medius or the gluteus minimus. So in this case, the the patient um, would probably have uh, an injury to the superior gluteal nerve, which causes uh, weaknesses to the gluteus me uh, medius or and gluteus minimus, which uh, leads to waddling gait that is seen in this uh, patient. And the sign is uh, called the Trendel Lambert sign. And we also uh, have to take into account that there um, that hip injury can also cause the same uh, clinical presentations as well. So the three diff uh, three diff different uh, differential diagnoses here are superior gluteal nerve injury, or there's a uh, injury to the gluteus medi medius and gluteus minimus, or hip uh, joint injury. So in this case, the left hip dips. Uh, downward. Uh, so the muscles and nerve on the opposite side the side that's injured. So since it's the left hip this downward, the nerve that it's injured is on the right side. So it's the right uh, superior gluteal nerve is the nerve that's injured, which leads to the weaknesses in the uh, gluteus medius and the gluteus minimus. So the answer to this is the right, mm, the right superior gluteal nerve and the right um, uh, gluteus minimus and gluteus medius. Remember, I did not do not confuse the innovations for uh, the superior gluteal nerve and the um, inferior gluteal nerve. The inferior gluteal nerve innovates the gluteus maximus, whereas the superior gluteal nerve, superior gluteal nerve right here, it will innervate two muscles. So those two muscles are the gluteus medius and the gluteus uh, minimus, which serves to um, lift up the opposite hip to prevent it from dipping down.